This is a video tutorial for the PLOTS $10 video spectrometer. Uh, you can read more about it at this web address. And to start with, we're going to take a DVD, a DVD-R, uh, a VHS box, like one from a blockbuster that's going out of business, uh, a piece of black card paper, uh, and a, um, a USB web camera. This one was $8 on Amazon. It's the Creative Live Notebook Cam. Um, and it's 640 by 480 resolution. Uh, I've just pulled the cap off of the lens there. The black card is going to be 8 and 3 eighths long uh, by 4 and 1 eighths tall. And then the last 7 eighths I've taken and creased, so you can fold it up like that. Um, and now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to draw a line on the card that's one and three eighths up from the bottom. So that's one and three eighths from the bottom here. Let's just get that right. And I'll just draw along that. Doesn't have to be too precise. And then um, I'm going to do something quite careful here. I'm going to cut a, a narrow slot in this spot here so that light can shine through. <coughs> I'm not going to cut all the way to the end. I'm just going to leave a little bit of space there. And I'll hold it up so you can see in a second. It's got to be like a millimeter or so wide. It's really very narrow. And as clean and consistent as you can get it. It's worthwhile to use a mat knife. And then you kind of pick that out. And you can see there's a very narrow slot there. Um, and now, I'm going to open this up and put it inside here. Now, I'm going to have to cut some holes for these, these two nubs, um, which uh, you won't have to do on all VHS tapes, but this one you do. So I'll just kind of wing it here. It doesn't have to be super precise. All right. There we go. And it kind of fits snugly in there. Now, um, I'm actually going to put it this way. Oh, no, uh, this way. And then what's going to happen is this camera has to be set up so that it will, uh, so that it uh, uh, is at a diagonal and it exactly intersects that line. So sometimes you've got to find a configuration where that will work. Okay, so this, prob this is probably the best orientation for this camera. Um, you can see that it's lined up with the slot. And then um, we're going to have to cut a, a hole up here. I actually already cut it but I'll show you how to do it on another VHS box. Um, you have to look for where it's going to line up with that slot and uh, just cut a large hole there. It doesn't really matter how big it is um, because most of it's going to be covered up by your paper anyway. I did a kind of a messy job, but it should be fine. And uh, as you can see on our actual one, that insert allows that slit to show or to to uh, allows light to pass through through the slit. So we have this cut, and it's sitting inside of there. Now we have to take a piece of the DVD, and just using a nice big pair of uh, scissors, I'm going to cut uh, a pretty big section out of this DVD. There we go. 
And you can see it's already started to crack, but you can peel it apart like that and throw away the reflective part. And you just want this. You can cut it down a little further even. And then keeping, uh, remembering that this is the outer edge of the CD or the DVD, we have to we have to glue it or tape it onto the um, video camera like this. So it, when the video camera is running, this is still up and this is still down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to cut it pretty small, still maintaining that outer edge along here. And I'm just going to use some duct tape. The straighter up and down this is, the better your uh, spectrometer will work. There we go. That's pretty good. And we just empty this out, set it in here. I like to use duct tape to fix it. And the webcam is just at about a 45 degree angle with that line still maintained. The uh, line from the hole straight down to the lens. And now uh, the last thing I'm going to do is the cable has got to come out. So I kind of want to cut a little deeper notch in here just to make sure it can come out without causing trouble. All right, I've cut that notch pretty deep, and I'm pretty sure we can fit the webcam cable in there. It will shut properly. And that's pretty much it. There's a little leak of light right here, so if you want to, you can tape over that. Sometimes it works just to take a little strip of paper and tape it in place. block that. Uh, you can do a tidier job than I did, or do it from the inside. And then you have to plug this in and check that the whole thing works. So now we've connected it to a laptop, and I had to use a program called MacCam to actually get this to work um, on a Mac. The, I mean, just the, the webcam itself. And you can see we have the device here, and that's the slit that we're going to use to actually uh, image things. I've set up a really bright fluorescent bulb here, and I'm just going to point it down there, and you can see we have a spectrum. And it's a pretty good resolution spectrum, too. Uh, there are some reflections, because the top of the uh, case is shiny, so that's creating those two stripes above. Um, but if you want, you can actually add more black paper, kind of a matte black paper, paper, and uh, you'll get rid of that reflection. So there you go. Um, that's the webcam. Thanks for watching. You can find more at publiclaboratory.org slash wiki slash video spectrometer. Uh, also slash wiki slash spectral workbench for the software to actually use the spectrometer. And finally, to join Public Laboratory, you can go to publiclaboratory.org slash user slash register.